In this video, we're gonna go to Norwalk. We're gonna tell you all you need to know about Norwalk, the pros and cons, the size, the types of houses, and we're gonna go to four different neighborhoods and we're gonna explore what houses in those neighborhoods can get you if you move to Norwalk. You're probably watching this video because you're trying to figure out, do you wanna to move to Norwalk? My name is Darson Grantham and I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. My name's Alex Hager, I'm also a realtor with Keller Williams. One of the specific things we're gonna do on this video is we're gonna tell you later in the video, we're gonna tell you the reason why we wouldn't move to Norwalk and the reason why we would move to Norwalk. So stick around and enjoy. So we've made the trek to Old Norwalk and what we're gonna go through here is just Old Norwalk, what the houses look like, what the price range you're gonna look at. Um, so I'll start out and just say the age of the houses are gonna be anywhere from 1900 up to 1950s probably. And you're looking at a layout, um, some ranches, some bricks, some two stories, uh, but they're gonna be anywhere from 1100 square foot up to probably 2,000 square feet. So price range on an area like this, we're talking about 175,000 up to about 200, could be even a little higher, really depending on any updates, um, any renovations that a home has done. But the, the scary part actually is how few of those homes are available right now for sale. Um, right now, there's only one house, one house, um, really around this price range for sale, and it, they, they go really quick. Right, and so one of the things I notice as we're walking around the neighborhood, and me being have a family is something I notice real quick is there's no sidewalks uh, in the in this neighborhood, and me having two, three kids under three, under four, uh, they need to ride their bike, and when they have to ride the bike on the street, that makes mama very, very worried. What's the value of having a real estate agent look for you in an area that you really want to be in? So say this is the area that you really want to focus on. And the reality is that we as real estate agents know of other agents that may have, um, we call them a pocket listing. It is a seller that's, that's kind of on the verge thinking about selling. And we can line those sellers up to someone who wants to be in an area essentially off market. So if someone really wants to be in an area like this, we can do our best to try to track something down, even if you don't see it for sale on something like the internet, right? Yep. And something that I've done, and I know Alex has done also, is if we have a buyer for a specific neighborhood when it's small like this, small inventory, we'll just go door knock. Um, and when you door knock enough, you will find a buyer, uh, a seller for a buyer. So we've done that. That's just the way that we serve our clients and um, don't really think anything of it. Got it. One of the communities we're gonna highlight today is Legacy. And one of the things that Legacy is known for in Norwalk is the golf course. But in this video, we're gonna show you that it is so much more than just the golf course. We just pulled into Norwalk Legacy uh, community, I think you would call it. Yeah. And it is a completely different feel and vibe than you're gonna get out of old, old Norwalk. So that segment, you know, you had some older houses. Your legacy neighborhood, this where we're currently walking and um, there's just, it's all new builds. Everything is new in the last 15 years. There's condos, there is apartments, there is buy attach properties where you're living in a duplex, but you own that side of the duplex. And price range, what are we looking at here, Alex? So if you're looking at the townhomes that are around here, they're going right above two. Oh um, boy. Watch us get done. Getting ran over. Get here. Um, was looking it up this morning only because there's been a lot of uh, lot of activity out here recently. And the townhomes, you get a you know a, a big two bed, two bath, two car attached garage. Uh, you're looking right around say 1,300 square feet or so, right above 200. And that's a pretty good property for 200,000 in the Des Moines Metro right now. I, I do get the feel that this community is a little bit uh, elderly. Um, just, and maybe that's because we're doing this video shoot during the day and no one else is gonna be out. And this is one of these areas where, in general, you can find houses, condos, townhomes, apartments, but you can pretty much find if you're looking for a specific type of property, but you wanna live in sort of a newer, you know, upcoming area, you can find that type of a property here. Right, so one of the things that Legacy has going for it, which is um, a lot of communities kind of build their build our community around this but it is the golf course so as you can see behind us i mean uh legacy golf course is one of the nicest golf courses in the des moines metro it is very affordable it is open wide you can spray those drives like i do as far <laughs> left and right as you want 
but uh, it's long, right? And it, the, the community is definitely built around the golf course, which uh, all of the, most of the community, you could drive your golf cart to the course. So where we are right now filming this, we're on more of the south side of the golf course. But the nice thing about it is this area that we're in this development, uh, more specifically with the houses, they wrap around to go through pretty much the, out, like the outer perimeter of Legacy. Yep. So if you still want to be on Legacy, right, instead of saying just being in this development, if you switch it to say you want to be on Legacy, you can still move out of this area, but still be on and around the golf course. Yep, and those those home prices are going to be 500000 plus if you're looking at on golf course. Um, one thing that Legacy doesn't have, it doesn't have a lake to live on. So you're going to live on the lake and the golf course. So you're going to have to pick which one that you want. Right. But um, Legacy, if you're going to pick a golf course to live on in Des Moines, it's one of the few that still has the opportunity to buy and build on the golf course. So in this segment, we're gonna go through Lakewood. Lakewood is a private lake and community and one of the very few private lakes that are in the Des Moines area. So about this neighborhood, it is, there. this is another one. There's not very many new builds in it, all. right? Um, they're gonna be your 1970s, a lot of split levels I'm seeing, um, a lot of ranches. And uh, I mean, there's, the lake is only half developed, right? So houses are only on about half of the lake. So if you want a house that is literally on Lakewood, it's called Lakewood, right? Your, your options are gonna be limited because of the, the amount of shoreline that is actually available. And this is one of those areas where even just driving through, if you watch Miss Kiwika right now, or in your car, just driving up and down some of these streets. This is the type of area where you can have a couple homes in a row that are you know, really well kept, really nice. They, maybe they, this is one of those areas where the houses get a little bit spotty just because they're older, right? That That's one of those things you can find. Yep. And you have a lot of rehabbers in town that will find one of these properties and they'll buy it at a discount and then really, really do it all out and make it really, really nice afterwards. So this area, um, you, to look at price per square foot and compare apples to apples, you're not gonna be able to, just because some of the properties are gonna be older sales and some are gonna be brand, like basically fully rehab, fully new, except the bones are gonna be all new. So one of the things, when you're thinking about living on a lake and or living really close to where you have you have your lake dock, your, your boat dock, your pontoon dock, um, most people don't think of Norwalk. And the reason is, is this lake is not huge. It's not for public use. It is private use only, members use only. So when you do decide that, hey, I wanna live on a lake and I wanna choose Lakewood, that you just have to remember that it's it's not gonna be packed. You're you're not gonna have you know hundreds of boats on the lake. It's gonna be very private. It is, it is a private lake. And with it comes not the huge association fees that you normally see on um, lake life or um, huge lake communities, so that it has a lot of affordability. If you were really looking for a place to live on a lake, uh, this could be a great place. Sailorville and Big Creek are two other lakes to the north. So they're gonna be closer to, if you're doing any research about moving to the area, um, Ankeny, Polk City, you know, Johnson, even Urbandale is gonna be a little bit closer to that. But in terms of a little south of Des Moines or right around Des Moines, this is gonna be the closest thing you're gonna get. And just like you said, being able to live, I don't know if you could see just right across the, uh, the street, you could live essentially right across from a lake, um, you know, within walking distance at least, right? Absolutely. Um, and again, just, I can't stress enough that this, is, this being a private lake, you're not having the hundreds of boats, the very, you know, questionably safe boating tactics that you're gonna see at some of the larger lakes. Um, we laugh because we both have experienced them, see them, and we've had clients that are looking to choose on where they wanna live and they're choosing places like this instead of that um, for various reasons, but that, I mean, the safety of the lake could be one of them. Just pulled into our fourth neighborhood and this is by far the most luxury neighborhood that we're gonna look at today. And it is called the Village at the Ridge and it's backed up to Echo Golf Course. Um, one of the reasons we chose this area is because it won the Des Moines, Ho it hosted the Des Moines Home Show um, two times. And this neighborhood that we're in right now was the very first time. And you're basically looking at all custom builds, probably four or five different home builders. And these houses are gonna be, I would say $500,000 and up. Um, I don't think you're getting anything below that in this neighborhood. 
This is also one of those areas because of the fact that it is newer um, compared to a lot of what we've seen in Norwalk. A lot of the houses have been lived in for you know, two years, three years, five years. And if you go back to the first time that the home show was out in this area, uh, there has maybe been one owner in a lot of these homes. So there's still, even though they're not brand new construction, they're, they're pretty close. They're yeah. pretty close. A moment. I've been looking forward to this moment. This is my big debut and we're all about the glam. One of the things I notice about this neighborhood as we just walk around it is um, I've seen probably in five minutes here, I've seen five people running, two or three people with strollers, guy comes out of his house to ask what we were doing, which <clears throat> to me, that means that you have a good community, you have a good neighborhood and you have people that care about, you know, who's, who's in my area, who's, who's this new people, who are these new people? So I look at that as a, a, I mean, a community that cares about each other. So we promised you at the beginning of this video, we would give you one thing that we love and one thing that we hate about Norwalk. I'm gonna go with love, right? I love the fact that you can get anything, any type of house that you want in Norwalk in a price range that you want. But specifically, like for me, how, how my family would judge things is we're close to parks, we're close to bike trails, and we're close to a lake, and you can get all of that. We don't go out to eat, so the fact that there are very few restaurants in town, like that just doesn't bother me. But the fact that you can, you can make this a community, um, that's what I love. Uh, I say make this community, that this feels like a community um, within a small, within a pretty big town. That, that'd be my love. I've worked with people over the years on the, on the negative side of Norwalk, right? Where one of the reasons where they have said and identified Norwalk as an area that they wanted to live, but ended up purchasing out of Norwalk. I would ask them, hey, you know what, what turned you away from Norwalk? One of the biggest things is people saying, hey, even though I might be close to uh, downtown Des Moines, say they work in downtown Des Moines, they still have to go maybe West Des Moines, maybe Urbandale to go shopping, restaurants. They're still leaving Norwalk more than they're staying in it. Maybe what we've come to conclude on this entire video is that Norwalk is not the right place for you. I don't care, Alex doesn't care. We don't care where you move, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that you know everything about Norwalk to make sure that if you are moving to Des Moines and Norwalk is in your bubble of choosing or your top three, you know everything there is to know about Norwalk. And Alex and I help people every single day move to Norwalk, move to Ankeny, move to Des Moines, anywhere across the metro. So if you are looking to move into the Des Moines metro and you want to you want to have someone boots on the ground, you want to you know have someone hold your hand, we are happy to do that. If you're moving into a condo, if you're moving into a luxury apartment, if you're moving into a just a beautiful house on the south of Grand, like we don't care. We want to help you. We want to make you help you find the right place to call home.